Hey guys, welcome back to Minimatch. Kurt here. This is the Casio GBD200 in high visibility green. I wanted something different and more importantly, something that would match my lime green running shoes. And I'll admit I bought this watch just for that and, and one of my lime green shirts. Uh, and not for any of its features. Well, for some, it kind of, it's some. I'll, I'll explain that later. Um, I didn't have high hopes that I would fall in love with this this watch as I imagine it would be clunky and big on my smaller wrist, but hey, at least it would be the right color. <laughs> Over the course of about two months, I took this watch hiking, riding dirt bikes, plane spotting, and going to a beach a lot with my good buddy Ben. He and his wife, you know Ben, he and his wife visited Molly for about two months and we consumed possibly way too many adult fizzies and had a friggin' great time. So that's what I've been doing for the past two or two months or so, just hanging out with Ben and Kelsey and their family and just having a really good time and getting sunburned a lot. <laughs> and now I review it. So again, this is the Casio GBD200 in high viz green. I got it off of Amazon for $156. It's probably gone up now. As you would imagine, there are other colors and uh, I really want to get that purpley one and even the red one and the the darker red one and the blue one and the black one. <laughs> I want to get all of them. But uh, I think I'll just get that reddish color one first. Aside from it being an absolute rock with its shock resistance and 200 meter rating, this gloriously loud piece features an accelerometer for its built-in training functions and pedometer. It counts your steps, guys. It counts your steps. It's Bluetooth capable to link your phone for fitness tracking purposes. I found it all to be complicated and clunky for my dumb ass to care about. I'm sure I could get it done if I really wanted to, but I just don't need a fitness tracker, guys. I just don't need something to tell me that I'm going to die at the gym because I feel it, I feel it, <laughs> I know. Um, there are far better options out there if that's what you need. It also has the ability to display some of your phone notifications with beeps and or vibrations. While useful, I found it to be faster and easier to just freaking look at my phone, grab my pocket, bam, there it is. It's kind of clunky, I'll show you in a little bit. I could not find a valid reason to use that feature other than to show someone and say, Hey, look, I got no notifications on my G-Shock. Nobody cares. Well, my friend Mark, uh, my shout out Mark, uh, he's a G-Shock guy too, but I'm certain he would not be impressed with these, uh, these notification features as much or too much. Oh, oh, connecting it to your phone automatically sets the time and time zone and date. And that was very welcoming. I really appreciated that. Of course, you have standard features like stopwatch, timer, alarms, 24-hour time, and world time. Accuracy is what you would expect. Extremely good. It's a Casio G-Shock. It will be more accurate than pretty much any, if not all, mechanical watches at uh, plus or minus 15 seconds per month, guys. Per month. Whenever... Uh, Oh, and uh, it'll be super accurate, 100% accurate when you're connected to your phone all the time, always, because it will always update. Well, maybe not 100%. Nothing is nothing is 100%, but it'll be super accurate if you're always connected to your phone. Of course, you have standard features like, uh, uh, pfft, I said that already. I went back on my tablet of justice. Meh. So it is all powered by a CR2032 battery, and they say it will last two years under normal usage whatever that means, not bad. If you're connected to Bluetooth 24 hours a day with vibrations and on and training, using the training thing seven hours per week, that drops about 12 months. Still not bad to me. I'll probably get about three years with mine because it's never going to be connected to anything. I'm not going to use it for training. It's just going to be my watch. Oh, it turns off at two o'clock in the morning. It just goes blank and then it'll turn back on when you pick up the watch or I, I think after a certain time. Sorry, I have a, I am burpy burpy. Uh, okay, the case is a high impact plastic and the buttons are large and easy to use because they are large and easy to use. The side ones have these white accents on it. The other side has a white and red accent. The red one is for, uh, I don't know why it's red, but it's red. And of course the center button has the big old button with the red accent on it. Got a little bit of a, little bit of a, of a oily mark on it. So. The display is what really makes me like this watch. When I first saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is great. It is, in my opinion, stunning with its high contrast, easy to read, changeable display. It can be set to turn off when wearing the watch for friends. Yeah, 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 I, I, I mentioned that already. Um, let's go to the displays. This is display number one. Wait, let me just zoom in, zoom here. 
Display number one, big old letters, big guns, big on letters with times and stuff, big old letters. Display number uh, two is the time with the step counter. Right now it's at zero because the time is switched over. Last night I got like about 8,000 steps, but well, not a very active day. Uh, one day I counted 14,000, over 14,000 steps. That was a very, that was a very busy day. Uh, display three is the monthly step counter with the time. And I think it goes back to, oh, the, the dual time right there. That's the dual time. Nice striking display. I think it might be an AMOLED screen because it's just so contrasty and beautiful. I love it. And uh, what else? What's next in the thing? Uh, dark accents all around. I really appreciate that to break up the monotony of all that lime green coloring. It's got to be a little bit out of control. It's cool. It's move. Okay. Broke into uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Freshmen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, case back is what you would expect. Basically the same G-Shock case back as all the freaking G-Shock case backs. Nothing special about it. The These uh, links end link situations these locker links situation are kind of uh translucent you can kind of see light through them that's pretty cool and uh, oh another really nice thing about this watch is the led light it works very well unlike so many other non-electroluminescent uh displays uh let me just press the button let's let's just turn off some lights real quick let's turn off some lights real quick okay here's the lights coming off hey hey google turn off the lights yeah <laughs> all right we're gonna press the button there we go the button has on and that is the display it lasts for about three seconds and it is pretty cool nice uniform well mostly uniform glowy glowy of the display hey google turn on the lights and then uh, i'm gonna turn on the rest of the ones with the remote the regular switch i need to make google turn on these lights too i have everything automated except for these all the lights in my room everything my bedroom my bathroom the garage and everything all automated because i'm a freaking nerd they can all change colors and everything my ac is connected and my fans um my um my bathroom the bathroom fan the garage lights freaking everything i'm a nerd so yeah um what else we got the strap the strap is a little bit long for my smaller wrist but not a deal breaker if i really wanted to i would just cut it but i think i'm gonna keep it for keep this one intact because i this is just a very special lime green although i don't think i'm gonna ever sell this one i'm just gonna keep it intact i thought it was gonna be uh very tight or taut but the strap is quite malleable. It's soft and almost supple. It's almost supple, which is what she said. And um, the keeper is this translucent keeper, which I thought was a little bit weird, but it grew on me. And I find it to be pretty cool. It's all, it's all really nicely done, in my opinion. And very, very comfortable. It's very definitely an acceptable watch for all day use. Um, and I do. I do a lot. I wear this watch a lot, guys. Um, yeah okay let's uh let's check out some of the other things right 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 here right here real quick here so uh let's go to the settings real quick hold down the button for three seconds hold down the, the display button now here you go you got uh home time uh time adjust world time adjust alarm settings uh profile for your tracking your fitness tracking thing turn the beep off and on light situation off and on or the time you can turn the vibration off and on uh, pairing to your Bluetooth, airplane mode, phone finder. You can use this watch to find your friggin' phone if you're connected to Bluetooth. Uh, what? Phone find? Home find. One finder. It's one finder, guys. It's just one finder. Oh, now phone find. Okay. Units. Uh, you can change it from uh, metric to uh, imperial. Uh, reset all and regulatory situation. I like that the time on the menus is there as well as the back button indicator. So you don't get freaking confused like most freaking G-Shocks. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, let's, let's show you, let me show you the clunkiness of the display uh, of the notifications. So if you get a notification, it'll show it on the thing. I don't have a way to do it right now, but it'll show it. Uh, it'll say, hey, there's something's happening. And it may show you a little bit of the text or it may just say you got a notification. And if you wanna go check it out, you gotta press the mode button, go to the workout screen, stopwatch screen, activity screen, notification screen then you gotta click on the no oh, pfft, wrong button see i'm still confused and then you gotta click on the button and then you go you can scroll up and down through your freaking notifications so that is it that is the stuff right there 
Uh, let's check out the measurements, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Let's check out the measurements, shall we? Let's check out the measurements, shall we? The case, I got 49.4 millimeters at its widest, but it wears very well, even on my 6.5 inch wrist. Lug to lug, 45.9 millimeters. Thickness, uh, 15 millimeters. Lug width is irrelevant as it is a proprietary system. And uh, yeah, here we go. Here it is on my wristicle situation. A little bit of a ding dong right there. A little bit of a ding dong. See, see, see how I want, I want, why I want to cut it, guys. Um, yeah, but all in all, not a bad situation. Doesn't look super big on my wrist, but it does look big. Uh, in this camera, of course, it, it very much so exasperates the bigness of the watch. Uh, farther away, it doesn't look as big. So I've been told when I look in the mirror, um, it looks a lot smaller. <laughs> The watch too. Okay, well, the final thoughts, guys. I am very glad that I got this watch. As I mentioned earlier, I didn't have high expectations, but I did come to admire and maybe even adore this watch, guys. Uh, it's a beast that has choke features. It looks and feels great to wear, and I catch myself looking at it a lot, and which is weird because I don't usually look at a digital watch a lot, but I, I like to look at this one. Even though it is a bigger watch for my smaller wrist, I wear it proudly. It works well, and uh, G-Shock is meant to be big, in my opinion. Not too big, though. It's got to kind of look good, but it's meant to be big. I have another big one in the next video, um, and that has its own story. <laughs> and now let's see what the boys have to say about it. Hey, guys. What's up? What up? What's happening? What do you guys think about this uh, lime green G-Shock? Okay, you know when you said you were going to get a green G-Spot? I thought I was going to be, it was going to be like a, like a proper, like a, like a proper, like a, pro, like a proper green, you know, like, but you got this lime ass green one and stuff, but, but you know what? I freaking like it. It's, di it's, di I think it's different. I like it. I like your face. I hate your face. I hate your face. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, Space Force season two is coming out and that's all I care about. Oh yeah. Space Force season two is pretty awesome. Have you seen it? Nope. Then why are you agreeing? Why are you, why are you saying it's pretty awesome? Because I'm assuming it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be freaking awesome. Did you, did, <coughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, I don't feel it. Uh, did you see, uh, did, uh, did you guys in the audience see Cobra Kai season four? Oh my god, oh my god, that was the best. Oh my god, when the aliens came down, I was like, what? There was no freaking aliens, you idiot. What are we talking about again? Cobra Kai season four, the Karate Kid one, the one that, the one that has the, has the Karate Kid. And it's all karate and, and stuff. Nah, I don't watch that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, Ted, uh, so what What do you... Oh, did you see Peacemaker? Oh, and Peacemaker was awesome, too. You guys got to watch Peacemaker. Peacemaker is freaking good, man. Man, John Cena, he's the, he's the best, man. John Cena is the bomb. Yeah, man, it, he, he likes... He, 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 he likes to show his ding dong. Yeah, he, the, the underwear scene was unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um... Uh, okay, well, uh, Ted, do you have any thoughts on the G-Shock? Oh my god, it's the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. I mean, seriously, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is the most brilliant thing I've ever seen. I mean, worlds are colliding. Oh, you are a dickhead. <laughs> Ted, uh, I, I gotta admit, Ted, you made me laugh, so. <laughs> which in turn, it means I made myself laugh, which is really sad. But yeah, uh, thanks for your input, guys. Um, alrighty, okay, thanks, boys. You're welcome. And to my homies in the audience, I am glad you could stop by. Please enjoy the end movie with all sorts of beautiful things. May your peanut be happy, and thanks for watching. Yeah. Another day is dawning, a new song on the air. Brand new hope is forming, adventure take me there It's a new day for me I feel it in my bones, I feel alive, I am set free It's a new day for me And nothing in this world We have problems We have problems Thankfully, it was right by Jordan's house where the bike is from. Looking for a sign. And I can feel inside of me that this season is mine.
that I will find my place So look out world, cause here I come I'm coming for you fast The sun is done, what's gone is gone And my future's not